Weight loss surgery is fucking bullshit. If you get weight loss surgery, you fucking hate yourself. This video's comment of the video goes to AMV. AMV says, my surgery is May 12th. I'm scared AF. AMV, I am not even going to lie to you. I would think you were crazy if you weren't scared. It's natural. It's normal to feel that way. You are perfectly okay. I am so happy and so excited for you. And I am ready for you to be able to step into your new life, into your new change, and just really get into you know, a surgery, the tool that is going to make living so worthwhile. I wish you all the best. Congratulations. If you would like to be featured in my comment of the video, just make sure to comment in the comment section down below. You never know which comment will be chosen. Bye. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, biggity, 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 back, y'all. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you're not new here, then it's just welcome back. My name is Kelsey and I have lost 110 pounds to date using my tool, the gastric sleeve. It's my hope that through these videos you're able to find the answers to questions you've been looking for or the path that choosing surgical weight loss has made that much easier. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you hear knocking and banging in the background, it's definitely my dishwasher. It's on its last leg and baby, I feel that she's really upset with us. She's just giving up so she's just in there throwing our dishes around in the dishwasher. So if you hear banging or knocking, it's just our dishes being broken. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome back on in. Like first off, hello, get on in here, have a seat, grab a hydrating beverage, grab your protein drink, grab whatever you need to help you get comfortable while we talk about BSG things. Before we get off deep into the video, I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored collaboration with my favorite bariatric vitamin company, Berry Mills. A little later on in the video, I will have some special information for you guys that will get you some money off of your purchase with Berry Mills and also a free gift. So as you guys can see from the title, we are going to be talking about how to avoid the haters after weight loss surgery. I know, I know. It's a really hard thing to grasp that there are people out here who are negative about someone doing positive in their own life. Hmm, it's kind of it's kind of hard to wrap my mind on how someone could be so nasty to someone who is being good to themselves. And it just goes to prove the point that a lot of times people, you know, they they will revel in your downfall and they will celebrate your, you know, the time when you are in a dark and heavy and, and dangerous place because they feel as though the playing ground is leveled. But if you ever step up and do anything for yourself, you have people in your life, unfortunately, and in my life and everyone's life, who are going to not support you. I'm going to insert a clip um, that I happen to see while I was watching a reaction channel on YouTube, and it's in regards to an opinion that someone who is overweight has about people using weight loss surgery as a tool to save their lives. The following clip contains strong adult language. Viewer discretion is advised. Y'all excuse my room. I'm doing my, <laughs> my laundry. But I wanted to share this with you guys because this is literally how people think about weight loss surgery. <laughs> just, just, just listen. Actually, you know what? I'm going to talk about this. Weight loss surgery is fucking bullshit. If you get weight loss surgery, you fucking hate yourself. It's bullshit. Weight loss surgery is not natural. It's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. You're going to cut your stomach so you can stop eating? You need to eat, bitch. You need to eat carbs. That's your fucking problem. You need Thank carbs. You. You're a fucking bitch. You need carbs. You're a bitch. You need carbs. Bitches need carbs. Right. Now y'all gonna have to excuse how I look, but the ignorance, the pure, unadulterated ignorance. 
And what's crazy is there's so many people who think just like her. The hater mentality. You sitting up here fat as hell, unhealthy as hell, unhappy as hell. And you have the nerve to say that about people who have weight loss surgery. Mm. If you're not familiar with who, and, and she's actually a content creator. She actually has a YouTube platform with almost 100,000 subscribers. Um, Charlie is a commentator channel, and she comments on the young lady who made the comments about weight loss surgery. She comments on her videos and just like, you know, reacts to her videos. But when I heard that, I was like, I've got to share this with my audience because you are going to come in contact with people who think just like she does. And they're so toxic and they're so nasty. They're vile. And a lot of times it's people who are unhappy with themselves. It's people who are unhappy with where they're going in life. And so they feel the need to spew their venom. Their une uneducated, unsolicited point of view on what we as bariatric patients have done and the decisions that we've made to have weight loss surgery. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta, gotta rise above. Oof. Listen, I thought that she had, I thought that's all she was going to say about it. This helper keep going. Listen, somebody, somebody send her over to my channel so that I could educate her. That's why I was like, ooh, this is a move though. Okay. I'm fucking tired of fucking weight loss surgery. It's a fucking abomination of humanity. Actually, it fucking kills people. It causes people to have nutritional oh deficiencies. It's not natural. You need to fucking just eat natural. For a fucking month, and you will feel better. You're stupid. All right, that's what I did. I'm fucking food addict. <laughs> I ate natural for a month, and you know what? I'm feeling better. She's still a food addict. Addict. She's still the unadulterated audacity this woman has to be so ignorant. It costs nothing. It costs absolutely zero dollars and zero cents to take the time. To do the research. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, God, what an idiot. That clip is absolutely infuriating. I don't understand how someone who is overweight can say such hurtful, nasty, and deceitful and uneducated things about weight loss surgery. It deters people who want to make those changes in their lives. It makes people not want to do that because she says, and weight loss surgery kills people. I'm sorry, but being morbidly obese, having an unhealthy BMI, diabetes, losing arms, limbs, the lack of mobility, that kills overweight people, not weight loss surgery. And unfortunately, you're going to run into people like Miss Lovely Chantel. And, you know, what's crazy is she's a content creator. She is someone who puts out content for people to view and digest on YouTube. Mm. It really makes you think about the type of people that you're around and what they really think about your journey. The most important thing to remember is you did this for you, not for anybody else. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to deal with people like Chantel and other people in your life who could say these things to you and it really hurt. You have to remember there's a why that you did your surgery. You just have to keep it up here and keep it moving. The first thing that you're going to need to remember and how to deal with people like Chantel and other haters, kill them with kindness. A lot of times the best thing you can do when someone makes comments like Chantel made is to give them a compliment, to be nice to them. The last thing someone who was hurt, who was trying to hurt someone else, expects to come from you after they've spit their venom onto you is for you to be nice and caring and kind and it will eat them alive their main goal by saying nasty things to you is to put you in a dark and angry place don't allow them to win that battle by being jerks give them a compliment back say you know what you're a wonderful person i hope you have a wonderful day thank you for your opinion and they'll be like what they're not mad at me they're not gonna cuss me out nope because that would give you power over me and I'm not giving you that. The second thing that I would recommend doing is tell them how good you feel. Explain to them your life. And this is if you feel comfortable because, you know, you don't really owe anyone an explanation. But if you feel so inclined, tell them how your life used to be, the quality of life that you used to have, the way that you used to feel compared to now. 
Tell them that you can walk up and down stairs and you can buckle your seatbelt and you can not get winded in the grocery store. You don't have to find a place to sit down and you can talk and go places with your friends and play with your animals and just do all of the things that you want to do. You feel good in your skin. You feel good in your clothes. You feel confident. Telling them how wonderful you feel can really help to negate those thoughts that they may have. You're not always going to win people over, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is that they know that you're happy. They don't have to support you. But as long as you're happy, if they are your true friend and they really care about you, number one, they're not going to come to you off cuff. But if they do, this may help them see the light. They may not agree with it, but they may be like, okay, you know what? She's happy, so I'm going to be happy for her. I don't agree, but snaps to her. I'm going to let her do her thing. Number three, tell them how you feel. Be vocal about your discomfort. If someone says something to you that makes you feel uncomfortable and it's like the video clip that I put in, just completely uneducated, untrue, and just nasty, tell them how you feel. Tell them how what they have said to you truly makes you feel as an individual, as a person, and as a bariatric patient. You don't have to suffer verbal abuse at anyone's hands. It could be your parent. It could be your spouse. It could be your sister. It could be your coworker. It could be your boss. No one has the right to make you feel bad about the decision that you made to have weight loss surgery. It's not their business. It's not their body. It's not their life. If you have complications following your bariatric surgery, that's something that you have to deal with. They don't have to deal with it. Get over it. Be vocal. Never allow someone to make you feel uncomfortable about a decision that you made for yourself. It's not their business. And like I always say, forget them, folks. <laughs> Number four, change the subject. And, I'm, and I say this all the time. I am so much more than bariatric surgery. If you don't agree with the choices that I've made, if you don't agree with the lifestyle that I am now living, let's not talk about it. Let's talk about anything else, the weather, politics, religion, you know, other you know, taboo subjects that we shouldn't really talk about with people that we love or that we care about. But hell, I'd rather talk about anything opposed to you telling me how badly, you know, you disagree or you making comments that make me feel bad. Don't be a hater all your life. Don't be a shady lady. Let's talk about cars. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about water flavors. Let's talk about makeup. We can talk about anything. And if you keep changing the subject every time they bring up your weight loss surgery or your weight loss, it'll finally click to them like, oh, maybe they don't want to talk about this. What made you think that? How were you able to put that? In? Oh, 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 you get it now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like what you're saying to me. Done and done. Easier said than done, but I'm telling you, it is something that has worked for me. I just change the subject. I just move on. Like, okay, well, yeah, I like apples. And they're like, yeah, apples are good. Done deal. Last but not least, remove yourself from the situation. If someone is just belligerent and nasty and just spitting really hurtful and harmful venom your way, you don't have to deal with it. Leave. Make them leave. Get up. Bye. I'll holla at you. If all of the other suggestions that I, you know, have suggested to you fail and you just can't seem to get through to that person, go. You do not have to sit there and take that abuse. Like I said, no one deserves any type of verbal abuse, bashing, downgrading, anything at the hands of anybody, period. It's one thing to occasionally deflect comments about your weight and your weight loss surgery, but if you are constantly having to defend yourself and your decision to have weight loss surgery, that's not somewhere that you need to be, and it's not a healthy place for you mentally. I hope you guys are able to take some of those tips and use them when you're dealing with people who are just negative about your journey and don't seem all too supportive. If you guys want to focus more on your weight loss journey and less on the haters, check out the link in the description box below. You'll be able to get 30% off of your Berry Melts purchase and also a free ebook. I love you guys so, 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 so very much. Thanks once again to Berry Milk. I love, listen, I get a lot of questions about vitamins. I absolutely love Berry Milk. I am past the stage where I need to be taking chewable, meltable vitamins. But listen, I love Berry Milk so much that I have just stuck with them. I'm a year and some months out post-op. I love Berry Milk from the beginning. And before Berry Milk even found me and started, you know, sponsoring my content they have been so good to me, but I found Berry Melts my, myself and I started using them and I started telling you guys like, listen, check these out. They're fantastic. Berry Melts is a great company, wonderful vitamins with a wonderful taste and they're so easy to take. If you're struggling with vitamin intake, if you're struggling with getting them down, if you're struggling with the chewable multivitamins, listen, just run it by, run it by your nutritionist, run it by your, your surgeon, 
on the website, Berry Melts has all of the nutrition facts and all of the vitamin, you know, ingredients on the website. Show it to your surgeon. Have your nutritionist look over it and see if they're okay with you taking them in lieu of the vitamins maybe provided by your program. I struggled really hard with my vitamins and I was really scared in the beginning because I could not keep them down. Anyways, like I said, check out the link in the description box below. Berry Melts has never steered me wrong. If you try them, let me know. I would love to know. Also, if you have a minute and you would like to, take a second to join my Facebook group, One Bite at a Time. It's a safe, 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 safe place to talk about hard things. Also, take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Give it a hug. Become a member of my family. I would love to have you here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you to the moon and back. I support you. I support you. I support you. If nobody has told you today how wonderful and fabulous and amazing you are, you are hearing it from me. You are great. I love you guys. Love each other. Be good to each other. But most importantly, be good to yourself. I will check you guys in the next video. Peace and hair grease. Do people say that anymore? Probably not.